Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Ben W, the video series where I get to tackle exactly one question as I walk from my parked car to uh, my office in Denver Public Schools. Today's question is courtesy of um, a podcast that I was listening to um, from Mike Pe Pesca um, called The Gist. And... Um, he was interviewing someone who had uh, written a book researching the concept of genius, and uh, one of the thesis statements of, uh, of this particular book, um, I think it's called The, the Geography of Genius, um, is that you need to be a generalist more than a uh, specialist in order to become a genius. And uh, he was making this lovely point about uh, how if you were um, da Vinci in modern day, um, there is no way that you could be accepted to university because you are an artist and you are an engineer and you <laughs> talk about military strategy and all of those other things. So um, it was just a really great point that uh, da Vinci could not exist in the modern world um, based upon his... Uh, his lack of, of specialization. So the question, after that long ramp up, is this. When should we encourage specialization in schools? There is um, something that I have long held uh, as uh, super valuable in my own story, as well as in many people's stories, is that uh, the sooner you know what it is that you want to do, um, the uh, better and quicker you can, uh, you know, pursue it, and that you can start, um, you can start learning towards that particular goal. And so that's why we, you know, have majors in college, and that's why we um, really take a look at, um, you know, sort of the the AP track in uh, in high schools, or or even why we ask. Uh, students to do passion projects and uh, and various other things that are that are really about the specialization of learning and um, it was you know something that that was very compelling to me and and was valuable to me in my own experiences was I knew I wanted to become a teacher almost immediately <laughs> uh, you know in eighth grade or so and um, so I started pursuing that. Uh, I knew I was going to be an English teacher, and that, that's what happened. And so, you know, I was able to, to graduate college um, quicker than I would otherwise be able to. I was able to, um, you know, really cut out anything that wasn't in my particular area of passion and expertise. And um, I think that helped me in, in getting to where I am. But it also, I, I think, has, has hurt in, in some ways. Um, because there, there are fewer opportunities um, to see outside of my own experience sometimes. Um, and I wonder about the ways in which we encourage um, kids to uh, follow their, their passions or to uh, only cultivate those things that they have a, a predisposition for, a predisposition for. That, that we are holding them back from genius, that we are holding them back from uh, what it is that they might be able to accomplish if they had a broader base, if they had a, um, if they had the ability to be pushed or to, uh, to explore in many different directions rather than in a single direction. It's something that, uh, that I'm worried about as we as we really start to look at uh, at personalization as a, a core strategy for um, for success in schools, um, and I still have a very large belief, mostly through the the research of when kids are working on things that are relevant and, and that they are passionate about, that they end up doing better and learning more and retaining more of that information, but. Is there a place for a coach, a mentor, a, um, a peer to say, you know what, I think we need to expand the scope, expand the learning opportunity to look at more 
than just you know one uh, idea or to to really look at you know uh, not just taking the 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 single course of action or the the single straight line towards the the answer because a lot of uh, you know sort of the best answers and the and the uh, the stickiest solutions are um, based on iteration and they are based on uh, sort of the circuitous route to things rather than a, a straight line and so you know my answer to this is you know when when we have an opportunity to explore with kids and with with adult learners um, in multiple areas that we should take that opportunity and that in many times the most direct and um, perhaps even uh, narrow-minded you might say the most narrow-minded focused approach may not be may not be the answer for learning and uh, may not yield the results that we might need and so um, I guess the, the answer is that I like the idea that genius is both in the specificity of finding solutions and in the generalization of a non-myopic <laughs> perspective, the, the generalization of uh, perspective and diversity. So that's, that's my answer <laughs> to that question. If you'd like to ask me a question, please do so on Twitter using the hashtag AskBenW. And uh, I hope to learn with you again soon.